You know, until recently, I'd never thought much about having a central vacuum system. But once I began considering the advantages, noise reduction, convenience, and cleaner air, I started warming up to the idea and finally decided to put one in. Well, actually, I guess it might have been the stairs that convinced my wife Lynn and I of the merits of a central vac. How are you? Come on in, buddy. For this project, I've teamed up with Chris Ellis, an installer for Cyclone Home Systems in nearby Newington, Connecticut, a dealer for Beam Central Vacuums. So, Chris, I really hope you can do this without opening up the walls, because I just went through that with the sprinklers, and I don't want to do that again. The motor and filter for a central vacuum system are located in an out-of-the-way place like the garage, or, in our case, the basement. PVC plastic pipe is run from the power unit to outlets throughout the house. Now we're going to want them everywhere from the attic to the basement. That's four floors. Is there a way to get from the basement up? Well, typically we like to look for closets that line up from the first floor to second floor, and that'll allow us access to run the pipe. Well, I've got one here. When you say line up, what do you mean? Well, from the second floor to the first floor, and that'll allow us to run a pipe. Okay, that, that isn't going to work up. here. There's no closet on top of this. In fact, there are only two closets on this floor, on this level. Okay. Yeah. But I do have a laundry chute here. Okay. And this goes up to the second floor. I'm not sure where it goes from there, but okay. uh, I can show you where the other end of this is. All right. All right. Okay, right up here at the top. Okay, so here it is. What do you think? Right. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. So... This is going to be a way we can get the pipe from the basement clear up to the attic without having to open a wall, right? Definitely. I think so. Good. That's really good news. Phew. Well, that's a relief to me. Chris collects his tools and a bundle of plastic pipe, and we begin by drilling a hole through the bottom of the laundry chute and okay. into the basement. You're through. All right, I'll pull it out. Yeah, I'll pull it out. Okay, I'm coming back up at you with a hole saw now. All right. You okay? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, I'm coming up. Now I know the laundry chute goes all the way up to the second floor. However, I need to run pipe into the partially finished attic above. So Chris and I cut out a portion of the attic floor in search of the top of the chute. Okay. Why don't you grab the flashlight there? All right. Shine it down in there. Yeah, I think that's the top of our laundry chute right there. So, um... What do you think, Chris? Why don't you go down? You want to go down and just sort of drill a hole up through the top of that? I'll watch from here All and right. uh, be sure that we are in the right spot. You see it? Yep. Okay, you're through. Can you see me? Can you see me? Yeah, I see light. To make sure the holes are aligned, I drop a plumb bob all the way from the attic into the basement. Now we have a way to get the pipe from the power unit up to the attic. From the attic, the plan is to run the pipe downward inside the walls to reach the outlets on the second floor. Well, we're almost through the top plate when... So many, there's all kinds of nails and screws. I'm a fast, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't believe this. Well, Murphy, is at work again. We've drilled into a veritable minefield of nails and screws, so we're left with no choice but to move over and try again. Yeah. You slip off? Through. You through? Yep. All right, you want to clean that out with a hole saw? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Make it nice and clean. Okay. With a clean hole at the top, Chris goes down to the second floor and pushes a screwdriver through the wall where we plan to locate the outlet. I check the alignment from above. It looks good. So Chris marks and cuts out the opening for the outlet. All right, it's cut. I'm gonna drop a plumb bob down here, okay? I'm gonna put it in the center of the hole. It should end up in the middle of the cutout. Just check it. I got it. 
Okay, Chris, are you ready for the wire? I'm ready. Okay, I'm sending it down. This low voltage wire will run all the way back to the power unit. When the hose is plugged in, the wire will carry a signal that turns on the vacuum. Chris connects an elbow to the back plate, inserts the plate into the wall, then attaches the cover with a couple of screws. So what's happening, this is the fixture you've got right here in the wall of the master bedroom, right? That's right. And that piece you're dropping down in is going to fit right in this L. Yep, right in there snug. You're going to drop that in from up here, just like so. That's it. So this is the pipe coming up out of the bedroom, crosses over here. Now we're ready to go all the way down to the basement, right? That's right. Okay. Start by running the wire? Yep, we'll run the wire. Okay. I'm just going to go down through uh, the second floor, coming up on the first floor. Okay. Going into the basement. Okay. What's next? Okay. Well, next we'll run some pipe. Yeah, once you go on the uh, second floor, I'll fish this to you. Chris lowers the PVC pipe inside the laundry chute from the attic to the second floor, to the first floor, and into the basement. We repeat this process for another outlet in the second floor hallway. To install the first floor outlets, Chris drills holes from the basement up inside the walls, cuts an opening, installs the low voltage wire and outlet fixture, attaches the cover plate, then feeds the PVC pipe up from below to make the connection. Well, we've installed a total of six outlets. One in the attic, two on the second floor, two on the first floor, and one in the basement. And all the pipe runs lead to one place, the central vacuum power unit. Okay, so if I've got, I just walk from room to room with this, set it down, and then do my cleaning, huh? That's right. <laughs> this is one big vacuum. Okay, I'm winding up on your bracket here. All right. All right. Once the power unit's hung on the wall, all that's left for us to do is to plug it in and connect the piping. Now, what's this over here? That's the muffler system. I have a muffler? Oh, yeah. Quiet as a mouse. Very quiet. Are you hooked up over there? I'm all hooked up. Okay, I'm going to turn it on and see. Is there, right? right? Well, you know what they say, clean house is a happy house. I'm going to go to work. All, right. All of our outlets have been located near electrical receptacles so that we can easily plug in the cord for the power head. Now, I won't say a central vacuum will turn housework into play, but a system like this can deliver a lot of suction very quietly and make navigating around a house like this a heck of a lot easier.